this is Hans the Ramen Raider coming at you with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time. This is the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. And today I've got one from Indonesia. This is Best Wok Hot and Spicy Mee Goreng. There's a Indonesian influencer who said that these guys' stuff is better than Indomie. That's, that's a big deal. They're pretty stoked on that. So... I should say, I don't know if it was the Han Spicy or the original. I think it might have been in the original, but anyways, they're really stoked. And here I go. This is a new recipe. I've done the old recipe and it was freaking good. So we shall see how it goes. So we've got a duel and a duel and a noodle block that I'm gonna drop in here for three minutes. Get it, get it, there you go. Yeah, they sent like an enormous, like six and a half kilogram box of samples the other day, thank you very much, with uh, new, for, new recipe varieties and some uh, other things that I've never tried before. So that's, that's pretty tight, I like that. I appreciate that, thank you very much. And, uh, yeah, so what's going on? Indonesia. Oh, yeah. So there was a store called Warong Jajanan that was in Edmonds, Washington. And it was in this little plaza, like strip mall kind of thing. And it was rad. A uh, fellow by the name of uh, Jonathan and his wife, uh, they had, on one side, it was a restaurant, and they made totally authentic Indonesian food that was absolutely amazing. Just like, yeah, this guy prided himself on making authentic Indonesian food, like nasi goreng, rendang, stuff like that. Anyways, unfortunately, I wanna say it's been about, has it been a year? I don't think it's even been a year. There was a fire, and I believe it was arson, and most of the stores in that little area were Asian-owned, and it sounds like it might have had something to do with somebody. It could have been a hate crime. I don't know how far that went with their investigation of it, but it's, it's like... It's crummy. It's really crummy. So uh, to Jonathan and his family, I hope you're doing well. That's that's a major blow to the Asian community. There was that place. There was a restaurant or two. There was a a uh, bubble tea shop that had really neat stuff. But the the Asian community really came around that area a lot. Did I set the time? I did. I pushed the button. But yeah, it's a bummer. It's it's a real blow to the whole, you know, area. Cause because we've got this in Edmonds on 99, Highway 99, we got a uh, what they like to call the International District, and that was a huge part of it. There's like one or two stores on one side of the street. There's a bunch next to the 99 Ranch, and then up a little bit, there was Jonathan's shop, and then a couple other places. But you could you could get like. Freshly made, awesome Indonesian food. Um, but they also had a store. So you could go in there, you could buy like Indomie or Mie Sadap or, you know, you got instant noodles. You could buy all the seasonings and sauces. And yeah, now now you can. And so whoever, whoever did that or if it was an accident, whatever, like I've lost a lot in our Asian community from that, so that's a bummer. It's a real bummer. So let's give this a try. I know they had a Kickstarter at one point. You might be able to look that up and if you want to donate, if that's still active, I think that'd be cool to do. Just a Bummer though, God. Everybody there was so nice. If it was somebody that was like, you know, 
some jerk that thought the pandemic had anything to do with people that, whoa, that have lived here forever. That's, that's total BS. That's the vibe I got from what I read about it. Probably somebody who decided that all Asian people are bad, which is far from it. They've gotten more hell from non-Asian people than anything. Um, crap. There we go. Yeah, everybody be nice. Stop Asian hate. It's not nice. Cause you're missing out on some tasty food and some nice people. Anyways, speaking of tasty food, here is our meagerang. Ready to stir it up. Stirring and stirring and combining and merrymaking and wonderfulness and that smells like a good one. Hot and spicy, let's see. It's gonna, it'd be a tough one to, for me to do an Indomie one uh, comparison because I haven't had Indomie in a while. Oh no, I had the original, but not the hot and spicy recently. So let's see how hot and spicy this sucker is. Mmm. Yep, good little heat. Nice sweetness. That's good. Yeah. That is a top notch five star meager ring. That's, that's like no brainer. Easy peasy. So, we're gonna use my new plate that I use generally just for me Let me get that water spot off of there. Come on. Hmm. I will use a paper towel, but I want this to look perfect. That's good. Perfect. Add our new. It's got a nice uh, oiliness too. I might add. It's it's just right. It is different than Indomie's. Indomie seems to be drier, and this one seems to be a little bit more, a little wetter. Which I like that. Um. Man, I'm gonna have a lot of dishes to do when I'm done with this, folks. <laughs> so the first step that's required in mee goreng is to add a fried egg. That's like really important. I get people a lot of the time going, how do you make your fried eggs look so nice? Well, go on to the ramenraider.com, go into resources and look up egg school. And that has information on how to how I do up my eggs, whether fried or soft boiled ramen, ramen eggs. So you will know, and knowing is the battle, or half the battle. I can't remember how it goes. I never, never did that. I don't battle with knowing things. I just like to know them. So we got some chicken. Mm, yeah. I'm gonna eat the last piece. Oh. Mm. Mm. I'm not gonna offset it. Bit of coriander, 
Mm. Come on. Come on. Settle down. And I got some. Nice chilies. Too wet. doesn't need it per se but I'm gonna throw some spring onion right here to kind of offset a little bit and I'm gonna put some some of this stuff this is by a company called ABC this is Chabe I think maybe I'll put some of this on the on the chicken. Like that. That's some decked out me garang. I gotta say, I like it with corned beef too, that whole intermec thing, or internet thing. That, that, that's a good recipe. Indomie, well that's Indomie, Tulur, Cornet, but I guess if you did it with this, it'd be um, best walker net? I don't, I don't know. Bester net? Bester net. There you go. Alright. Do it. everybody over at best walk for shooting over these samples yeah this is an absolutely excellent product I highly recommend it and the next one I'm gonna do is this this is a uh, variety from Japan that came in a Zen pop box to the Zen pop dot JP uh, use the coupon code the ramen Raider, for a discount this is Maroshan Gatsumori Tonkatsu Shoyu. So with that, this has been Oz the Ramen Raider wishing you enjoyment of your noodles each and every day. Have a good one. Bye.